And now it's time to go over the Unit 6 practice test on exponents. Let's begin. On number 1, anything to the 0 power is 1, since that's all in parentheses, the answer is 1. On number 2, this is like negative 1 times 2 to the negative 2. So we're going to leave the negative 1 in the numerator, and then in the denominator we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4. Because when that negative exponent um, goes to the denominator, it becomes positive. 2 squared is 4. Number 3, um, we're going to have 1 over negative 3 squared, which is 1 9th. Uh, there's no negative on that one because the negative is in the parentheses. On number 4, um, we have a negative exponent in the denominator, so to make it positive, um, it, we move it to the numerator. <coughs> on number 5, because this is negative, we have to move it to the numerator to make it positive. And then the b stays in the denominator because it did not have a negative exponent. On number 6, we have 4 times uh, 3 to the negative 3 times negative 1 to the third. And so I'm going to have negative 1 to the, so I'm going to have 4 in the numerator um, times negative 1 over 3 to the third because to make that negative exponent positive, I put it in the denominator. And then 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And then 3 to the third is 27. So it would be negative 4 27. Okay, number 8, or 7, excuse me. Um, to write a number in scientific notation, I have to make the, I have to put the decimal there. So how many places do I have to make it smaller? 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I make it smaller by 6, then in order to keep it equi equivalent, I need to make it bigger by 10 times to 10 to the 6th power. Number 8, this will be 5.18 times 10 to the negative 2. Because I make this bigger by 10, I make it smaller by 10 by multiplying by 10 to the negative 2. Number 9, when I, this is the easy one, right? When I'm going from uh, scientific notation to standard or decimal notation, um, I just, this tells me how many places to move the decimal, and then if it's positive, it's right, negative, it's left. One, two, three, four, fill all those spaces with zeros, and I get 50,000. On this one, I'm going to move it one, two, three to the left, and I'm going to get point zero zero one two six. Okay, those are hopefully gimmies for you. Um, number 11, when I multiply things with the same base, I add exponents. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Um, on number 12, I multiply my numbers like I always have multiplied numbers. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. I have x to the 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. y to the negative 2 plus 5 is y to the 3rd. And then if I have any neg negative exponents, I have to simplify. So this is going to be negative 40y cubed over x to the 5th. So, score yourself on that first page. That was 12 of the uh, 12 of the problems, 12 points so far. Okay, let's continue. Um, when we multiply in scientific notation, we multiply numbers together, 63. When we multiply powers of 10, we add the exponents because the base is the same. And then we need to make sure our answer is in scientific notation. That's not because it's not between 1 and 10. So I need to make that smaller by 10. So therefore, I need to make this bigger by 10. Uh, number 14, we're dividing. So that's just like writing this. So 9 divided by 6 is 1.5. And then times 10 to the 5 minus negative 7 minus negative is plus a positive would be 1.5 times 10 to the 12. Number 15. Um, we have a truck that delivered this many tons of goods, and this is the value of each ton. So we need to multiply these numbers together, 9 times 10 to the 5th times 17,000. So getting my handy dandy calculator, I have 17,000 times 9. Um, I could, I think it would be easier to write this in scientific notation, so I'm going to do that. 1.7 times 10 to the 4th. Um, and so then, if I just go 9 times 1.7, I get 15.3. Yeah. So I have 15.3 times 10 to the 9th, 
That is not in scientific notation. So I make it smaller by 10 and make that bigger by 10. And that's how I get the answer, 1.53 times 10 to the 10th. Number 16, if I have a power to a power, I know I can just simply multiply the power, p to the 12th. This would be m to the 7th times m to the negative 18th, because I have to distribute that through the parentheses. And then I know that 7 plus negative 18 is negative 11, and then to make it positive, I have to put it under 1. Number 18, uh, distribute the power. Don't forget that it's 4 times 1 and 4 times 3. So it would be 3 to the 4th, h to the 12th, which is going to be 81 h to the 12th. Okay, moving on. Uh, number 19, uh, we need to simplify in parentheses first. So we get 3 squared, x squared, y to the 6th times x to the 6th, y to the 6th. When I simplify that, I get 9 x to the 8th when I add those exponents y to the 12. Number 20, when I divide things with the same base, I subtract exponents. 12 minus 6 is 6. Uh, number 21, when I divide things with the same base, I subtract exponents. Negative 4 minus 12 is negative 16. To make those positive, I put it under 1. Number 22, when I divide things with the same base, I subtract exponents. So g to the negative 4 minus the negative 1 h to the 11 minus 3, I get g to the negative third, h to the 8. I need to make that negative exponent on g positive by putting it under 1. The h stays put because it's already positive. Number 23, scientists believe there's an extremely large, massive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. How many times more massive than the sun would a black hole be? So I need to take the larger one, because it's how many times greater, and divide by the smaller one. And what do I get when I go 7.36 divided by 1.99? 3.7, thank you. And when I divide things with the same base, I subtract exponents. So, D. Okay, so that page was worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, so far, 23 points. Um, what is the simplified form of this one? So it's going to be b squared um, times 7 squared to make that negative exponent positive and move it up, which is 49b squared. Um, I will have better graphs for you on the, uh, on the actual test, so that, I'm sorry about that. But... Um, how many of you made this over here of the origin? Okay, so most of you use this, that's fine. Um, so, I told you to use for your table 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I will have a table for you on the actual test. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to start over on that one. X, yeah, you will need to do a table. Y. And then the rule is 3 times 5 to the x. So if I use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to get 3 times 1 is 3. I'm going to get 3 times 5 is 15. I'm going to get 3 times 25 is 75. I'm going to get 3 times 125, which is 375. And I'm going to get 3 times 625, which is 1875. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, then I gave you the intervals to use. Um, if this is zero, I said to go ahead, you know, you can just go one, two, three, four. Okay. And then on the Y, um, I said to go by 300, and hopefully you realize why I said that. Um, because we need to be able to fit 1800 on there, 1875. So I know that these are so small that you're like, I mean, how, how do we even show where those go? Because they seem like they'd just be barely above zero, which is true. Okay, so I'm going to adjust here. It, it's going to look funny, but I would say these are even, I mean, barely above. And then we go to 
375, that would be up here just past halfway. And then 4 goes all the way up to 1875. Something like that. Okay? That's why I want your table values, because um, just to make sure we got it. <clears throat> of course, it goes this way, too. And 26, uh, 9 tenths. So, again, if I make a table, x, uh, 9 tenths. Someone said, can I use a decimal? Well, because it's terminating, you sure could, and it makes it a lot easier. Um, so, we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And I'm going to use my calculator on this one. If I put in there y equals 0.9 to the x power, and then I go to my table, I can see my table values are uh, 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.81. Whoops, sorry, I'm going by ones. I need to go by twos. My bad. 2 is 0 0.81. 4 is 0.6561. 6 is 0.5, we'll just go to 0.53, round to the nearest hundredth. 8 is 0.43. 10 is 0.35. And 12 is 0.28. Okay, and so then if this is 0, and these are going up, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1.2. Um, I really should have said intervals of 0 0.1, so I'm going to do it that way um, because on the test that's how it will be. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. So at 0, we're at 1. At 2, we're at 0 0.81. At 3, we're, or, sorry, at 4, so that was 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. At 2, we're at 0 0.81. At 4, we are at 0.651. At 6, we are at 0.53. At 8, we are at 0.43. At 10, we are at 0.35. And at 12, we are at 0.28. Very gradual curve there. Okay. All right. Number 27. Um, the equation you would use is um, the population is growing, so this is going to be exponential growth. So it's the initial amount is 1,500, and if it's 2% a year, we're going to multiply by 1.02, and that's going to be to the fourth. And when I do that on my calculator, I get B. Okay, so that page was worth one, two, three, four. And the last page. Um, so we have amount is principal. This is compounded annually, so I can just do 1.04 to the fourth. And I get, when I do this on my calculator, 2100 times. 1.04 to the fourth. I get it's uh, money, so we need to round to the nearest penny. Two thousand four hundred fifty-six dollars and seventy cents. Okay, this one's a little different because it's compounded monthly. How many times are you going to get paid then? How often? Twelve times. How often is twelve? Very good. So it's going to be times 1.07. Well, one plus 0 0.07. Excuse me. 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by uh, 12 times 22. Uh, not 12. Sorry, divided by 12. Times or to the power of 12 times 22. So when I simplify that, I'm going to get uh, 0 0.07 divided by 12 is 0 0.0583 repeating. So 1400 times 1. 0.0058. I'm going to put that in my graphing calculator to tell it that it's repeating. 12 times 22 is 264. So let's see what I get when I put that in my calculator. 
Well, and the th nice thing is, since you had to round a little bit on that decimal, you have a multiple choice answer here. So if I do 1.0058, I'm going to put some threes in there to the 264. I get 6501.22. So that's because of these threes. I was off a tiny bit. Okay. Um, now we have a uh, exponential um, decay. So it's going to equal the original amount times um, the decay factor, which would be 0.88, because if it's 12% you're losing, you would only have 88% of what you had before. And that is to the fifth power. So then I put that in my calculator, 8350 times 0.88 to the fifth, and I get 4406. So you didn't quite lose half of it in five years. Quite, didn't quite lose half the value. Okay, this is a fun one. So you guys had a good time on this. So when I distribute, I get 2 cubed A to the 15th, B to the 15th, times 27. Um, well, I didn't do my cube yet there, so I won't do it here. Um, times 3 cubed A to the 15th, B to the 9th, over um, 4 cubed K to the 12th, over 7 cubed T to the 9th. So then... I have, um, when I simplify that, I get 8, 8, 8 to the 15th, B to the, let's, let's go ahead and add while we're doing this, shall we? Sure. So I have, let's do this, 8 times 27, thanks, 216, A to the 15 plus 15 is A to the 30, B to the 15 plus 9 is 24. And that's all over 64k to the 12th over 7 cubed is not coming to me, 343 t to the 9th. So then to simplify a complex fraction, I simply multiply by a reciprocal in my denominator, which would be 343t to the 9th over 64k to the 12th. I need to do it up here also. So when I go 343 times 216, I get 74,088, uh, A to the 30th, B to the 24th, C to the 9th, over 64K to the 12th. Um, believe it or not, those do have a, I think it's an 8 in common. Yes. If you divide out the 8, you get 92.61. A to the 30th, B to the 24th. B to the 24th, C to the 9th, over 8K to the 12th. Clara had it all the way to here, but because she did such a valiant effort, I gave it to her. So if you get that far, I think you deserve the extra credit, the bonus. She missed one got the bonus right. Yeah, it was. I know. Hopefully you realized through as rigorous as that problem was, it was the bonus. Okay, so thank you for your undivided attention. Good job. Hopefully that helped you out.